What is up and is going on guys, my name is Simpsy and welcome to episode 13 of my player career mode. So guys, in today's episode, unfortunately, starting off, we didn't get picked in the Champions League match against uh, Porto. Uh, Diego Costa got picked ahead of us, so that's the simulation match. And uh, we ended up drawing 2-2, which was uh, interesting. Maybe it would have been a different result if we played. But guys, in today's episode, we have an away match against Sunderland, which we did get chosen for in the Premier League. And then we have a match against Man United. Now with my new hairstyle, as you see here, let's go recap the last episode. We ended up winning 2-0 uh, away at Wales versus Swansea. And um, I scored one goal, the man of the match. And Kurt Zuma scored the other one. I don't know if I sound a bit nasally, a bit ill. I just sneezed. <laughs> and it's a bit early in the morning, so I do apologize if you can notice that in my commentary. Um, later on in that episode, we ended up winning 3-0 over Hull City. I managed to pick up two goals and the man of the match, and uh, Mikel picked up the other. This match against Sunderland, I was creating a lot of chances, um, but I just couldn't seem to put anything in the back of the net. I couldn't seem to dribble past it, but uh, we do get a... A free kick in our favour in a pretty dangerous position. Sherla manages to pass it short to me. I'm trying to dribble it out wide. It finds McKeel. Back to Oscar. Back to me. I get my finesse off. And this is probably the play of the season. How fantastic is that? Nice teamwork to create something from the free kick. Uh, I felt a little bit greedy asking for it first time. But it actually turned out to be in our favour. Oscar pushing it pretty far out. I was unmarked with the finesse. Top right. And um, I can see... Great things coming for Chelsea. Now, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you reckon I'll be top goal scorer of the Premier League or the Champions League? Uh, probably Champions League is not so much, seeing as I'm not playing all that much in it. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping I can be a higher goal scorer than Diego Costa. As you saw in the last episode, my rivalry, uh, I'm still ahead of him at the moment. But 1-0 up. I'm trying to get my second goal here. And I do manage just to dribble past the Sunderland defender and hit it with my left there. And I really hate some of these celebrations, uh, which I just, I don't mean to do. I don't know why they're set up like that. It's just, it's kind of bullshit. But that first goal was absolutely spectacular. 2-0 away at Sunderland, and I score my second in the match. It must be this new hairstyle. <laughs> I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of Fernando Torres. It's, 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 it's quite good. Okay, 2 nil up. We're trying to get my hat-trick here. I'm trying to cut back, but the Sunderland defense couldn't... Uh, well, they were containing me quite well. They do manage to whip it in uh, from William. It falls short to Matic. I get my shot off, but the Sunderland goalkeeper manages to push it just wide. Eden has it on the ball, manages to find me. I manage to feed it to, I believe it's... Um, he, it doesn't matter, he gets the shot off anyway, and it was a miss. So we do manage to win 2 0 away at Sunderland. I managed to pick up the man of the match and two goals, um, which is good to see. That was a good result. And now we have the upcoming targets. Um, he wanted me to score three goals. Jose Mourinho ended up scoring six. He wanted me to expect an average rating minimum of 9.0. I got 9.10, but we did have uh, too many shot conversions. So. I don't know. Is that a, is that really a bad thing? The shot conversion is the amount of shots you have without scoring, which, I don't know. Surely the more shots you have, the better. <laughs> but we have a home match at Stanford Bridge against Manchester United. It's going to be a big one here today. There's a lot of good players on both sides. Um, I do believe they're playing Thorgan Hazard, aren't they? I don't really know why they're doing that and the cam. But um, anyway, we have the first United at Stanford Bridge. They did pretty well last year in the, the league. But they're not doing so well at this point. Uh, they're currently sitting in 7th. Arsenal are 2nd. Spurs are 3rd. Manchester City are 4th. And it's interesting to see Stoke City and Everton really high up the table. I don't know why I paused it then. But uh, yeah, here's the matchup. I don't know why Thorgan Hazard is playing over Oscar. Um, I guess Oscar had a break and Fabregas is on the bench along with Eden Hazard. We need to beat... Um, United here today. They do have a fair few good players. Javier Hernandez, Van Persie, Mata, uh, Herrera, Daly Blind. They have Di Maria, Wayne Rooney, and Nani on the bench as well. But uh, that defense, they really do need to strengthen and restructure, I still believe. Unlike in my, uh, my United career mode. We do get a corner kick here pretty early on, and uh, hopefully we can create something there. It does fall back to the box. Uh, to Felipe Luis, back to Matic, finds Schürrler, manages to find me on the header, but uh, I really couldn't get the header quite onto it. It, went, it fell short to Chris Smalling on the boot, actually. 
But I do manage to get a shot off here against Lindegaard. I do believe David De Gea is going to Juventus, I think. I can't quite remember. But it was a pretty audacious shot, nevertheless. William manages to find me. And I do manage to break away with pace. I do hit it off with my left foot here. And unfortunately for me, Lindegaard managed to get to it. I hate saying me and I in this. It's really quite weird. Daily Blind, the Dutchman, on the ball. He does manage to find Mata. And there's a lot of former players on this. Uh, Mata obviously used to play for Chelsea. So he's going to give it his all in this match especially. But both sides really couldn't seem to break it down in the second half. Schurler manages to find me in the box. I'm trying to create something with the cutback. Get my shot off, but Lindegaard was really just too strong. I was trying to go for some near post OP. But Ramirez on the ball manages to find Eden Hazard coming off the bench. I'm still trying to create something on the box, trying to score a very similar goal to that Southampton one. Trying to get on my right foot, but uh, Di Maria just managed to be too strong for me. But I do manage to get it back here with Ramirez, and it hits the post. After that nil-nil, um, during well, during the second half, United really did shut down, try not to lose the points. Obviously, we're first and seventh. It meant a lot more for us to try to get the three points. But nevertheless, it's a it's a draw. What are you going to do? You win some, you draw some, you lose some. But guys, thank you very much for watching if you've watched all the way through. I really do appreciate it. Remember to leave a like to support this series and my channel. And above all, remember to go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks a bunch, guys. Simsy out.